Hi, welcome to another episode of Science Made Simple. I'm Farhad and I'm a science specialist here at the Big Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of classification of materials. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 13. Which of the following physical properties can be used to describe non-metals? Property 1. They are poor conductors of electricity. Electrical conductivity of a material is a measure of how readily electrical current passes through it. Do non-metals like plastic and rubber allow electricity to pass through them easily? No. So property 1 is true. Since most non-metals have this property of being poor electrical conductors, I can use them as electrical insulators. Take note, this is a function and actually not a property. So when the question asks for a property of non-metals, can we write it is a good electrical insulator? No. What should we write instead? It should be poor electrical conductor. There are some exceptions to this. What are some of the non-metals that are good electrical conductors? An example is graphite. Not only are most non-metals poor electrical conductors, but they are poor thermal conductors as well. They do not allow heat energy to pass through them easily. Thus, we can always use non-metals like plastic or rubber as thermal insulators. Let's take a look at the second property. They have lower melting and boiling points. Is this true? This statement is true. When I compare non-metals to metals, metals have a very high melting and boiling point, usually in the range of hundreds or thousands of degrees Celsius, whereas non-metals have much lower melting and boiling points compared to metals. Melting point of a material refers to the temperature at which the material changes from solid to liquid. Now, since metals need a very high temperature to melt, what state will they be in at room temperature? They are all solids at room temperature except for one metal. What is the only metal that exists as a liquid at room temperature? Let me give you a hint. You can find this liquid in some thermometers. Yes, it is mercury. Mercury has a melting point of about minus 39 degrees Celsius. Let's go back to our question. Finally, what about property 3? Non-metals are brittle. What does brittle mean? Brittleness refers to the tendency of a material to break or shatter easily upon impact. Can you give me examples of materials which are brittle? We have glass and ceramics which are known to be brittle materials and break easily upon impact. Are they metals or non-metals? Both are non-metals. What about plastics? Plastics are definitely less brittle compared to glass and ceramics. But remember, we are comparing these materials to metals. Do metals shatter or break easily upon impact? They don't. So non-metals are considered brittle. This statement is also correct. Are there any exceptions to this? Again, there is. Non-metals made of cloth fibers or wood fibers are not brittle. Now, since all three properties are correct for non-metals, the answer would be option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!